Today is February 2nd, 2022, and we have some new mods. But before we get to the mods, we have an update on the MAN TGX 18.5004x2. That's got some new color configurations. Um, and also, I want to address something that... So, the TLX by 82 Squared Studios was released today, and just as quickly as it was released, it was taken out of the Mod Hub on consoles only. Okay, and the reason is... Um, it, the game is still crashing when you go into the store, especially on PS5. So they've had two reports of the game crashing on PS5 with it. The good news is it has nothing to do with the mod. Okay, the mod is perfectly fine. It has to do with the game. But for some reason, they decided to pull the mod from the game until they, uh, they fix it. Now here's some more good news. Patch 1.3 is the one that they're working on right now and it is going to fix the crashes and that should be out in possibly a week i i feel like i i read either either later this week or next week um that patch hopefully will be out so good news is the game's going to get fixed with the crashing and when it gets fixed we're going to have an awesome new pickup truck to use in the game so with that little bit out of the way, let's hop into the store and take a look at some of the new equipment that we got in the mods today. First up, we have the Steyr ZVT CVT pack. This is going to be 53.70 megabytes to download and install. So we have the CVT SWB. This is going to be $148,000. It's going to take up 16 slots. It's going to range between 150 and 100 horsepower. And then we have the CVT LWB. This is going to cost $188,000. Takes up 18 slots. This is going to be between 185 and 260 horsepower. Let's take a look at these in the store. See what the configurations are. See, right there, guys. Um, I'm going to leave that in. You can see that circling on the PS5. When that circles that long, the game crashes. Like on the PS5, normally, like if I leave here and I go in, it's instant. Okay, so on the PS5, when you see that circle pop up, the game's going to crash. Um, that's what happens to me anyway. So, Wheelbrand, we have Trailer Borg, BKT, Vertisign. Back to Trailer Borg, wheel setup, we have Standard, we have Wide Tires, Wide Tires 2, Wide Tires 3. And those Wide Tires 3, those are some, those are some beefy tires right there. Design, Mirror Old. Mirror new, mirror old plus wide fender, mirror new plus wide fender. Front loader attachers have the basic in-game attachers and just set up again from 150 horse all the way up to 200. And we have, okay, so. We have a couple in there. So we have the CVT, which is 150 horse. There is the CVT Boost, which is 165. Then we have the 6165 CVT. That's 165 horse. The CVT Boost, 180. The 6135 CVT, 180. Uh, CVT Boost, which gives you 200. Uh, now, I, you know, it'd be interesting if they made these engines where maybe some of them are a little better on on diesel consumption than others. So I, you know, I don't think that's how it works, but um, I think it'd be pretty cool. So main color, we could do anything like that there. Design color, like that. Rim colors, and of course the license plate. So I'm gonna assume that this has the same basic setup here. It's just a bigger tractor. Trailer board. Nope, this has Michelin's BKT and Vertestein. We'll set up standard wide, wide 2, wide 3, wide 4. Design, mirror old, mirror new, mirror old wide fender, mirror new wide fender, back to mirror old attachers. Power FS4 front lifter. Standard. Okay, that's interesting. 
Then we have front loader attachers again, same ones, engine setup, 185 horse, 200 horse, uh, 200 horse without the boost, I guess, 220, 240, 260, at the 185. That is the Steyr CVT pack. Next up, we have the Case IH Traction King Series, 11.84 megabytes to download and install and i gotta say guys this tractor this looks pretty cool it takes up eight slots it's going between 210 and 300 horsepower let's take a look at this look at this thing man i like this i actually like this a lot i'm not gonna lie so we have trailer board michelin continental midas reverted sign back to trailer board wheel setup with standard we have twin wheels wide double wide Wide two, double wide two, wide three, double wide three, wide four, double wide four. Oh boy, wide five and double wide. Wide six, and we have narrow, narrow twins back to standard. Wow, those standards look really, really small compared to some of the wides. Window color, no, smoked, light black. Black Dark. Wheel weights. No, we have 400 kg. 800. 1200. That's pretty interesting that we can actually select the amount of wheel weight. That's pretty cool. So, beacon lights, we have no. Left side. Right side. All sides. Front weights. No. 1000 uh, kilogram. Engine setup. Look at. That's an interesting font. I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to assess 210 horse, 212 horse, 243, 300, and back to 210. I, uh, I, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like the look of that. Room color, we can do any of those colors like that there. And we could have played on it. That's the Traction King series. Next up, we have the Class Arian 660-610. This is going to be 9.60 megabytes to download and install. $120,000. Takes up 14 slots. Range from 145 to 205 horsepower. And, of course, the configuration thing. You know, hopefully, hopefully the patch will fix all of this. I'm really hoping. So we have Trellerborg, Michelin's, Continental's, Midas, Big AT, Rudestein, Nokians, at the Trellerborg Standard. Hey, come on. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It wouldn't let me move down. So wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, at standard, front loader attachers. You know, we actually have a class brand. Okay, that's that's new. I feel. And just set up with the 610, 630, 650, 660. That's a 610. Main color, we can switch it to any of these that we want. A navy blue class. <laughs> Room color, let's do something like that there. Very interesting. That is a class Arian 660 610. For all you John Deere fans, we have the John Deere 6M. This is going to be 31.39 megabytes to download and install. So it take up 15 slots. Not too bad. 142 to 164 horsepower. $119,500. I have noticed that the, uh, the mods that modders make are lower on the megabytes and the slots than the mods that Giants puts into the game. Just, just an observation. Just throwing it out there. Okay, so configuration, we have standard, 360 kg front weight, 560 kg, 760 kg, 1010 kg, and back to standard. So it doesn't look like we have any uh, front three point, I'm gonna say. Wheel brand, Trellerborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Rudestein, Nokians. Wheel setup, we have standard, wheel weights, wide tires, Wide tires plus weights, rear narrow twin wheels, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, 
back to standard. Uh, front loader catcher, no, we have John Deere. Makes sense. Engine setup, 6135M, 142 horse. Then we go up to 153, 164, back to 142. And license plates. That's the John Deere 6M series. This little guy is a uh, familiar, familiar looking uh, face, if you will. And you're the Amazon, Amazon Profi Hopper, uh, 3.37 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take up four slots. This has a 1.2 meter work width. 24, 25 horsepower um, lawnmower here, $5,900. Take a look at this. Design, we have standard, we have black edition. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. I like that. That looks, that looks slick, man. It really does. So, rollover protection. We can change the color of that. Rim colors. We do that there. We can put a lace and plate on it. Very cool. I, I, I like this. It's, it's nice to have a, uh, a some kind of lawnmower in here that, you know, picks up the grass. Although the mulchers will do the same thing. That is the Amazon Profi Hopper. Next up, we have the Sem Semaz, Semaz Twist 600. I apologize if I did not pronounce that correctly. Um, this is apparently a Windjore. This is a uh, pretty strange looking one, I think. This is going to be 16.45 megabytes to download and install. Six meter work width, takes up seven slots. Gonna require 80 horsepower to operate this, $15,600. Take a look at it, and let's back out and go back in. Okay, so I, I don't think there's any any configurations for this one. This is the Semaz, Semaz, Semaz Twist 600. Okay, so we go from that to the tether. This is a Pine Pinger HIT690N. This is going to be 10.83 megabytes to download and install. 6.9 meter work width, six slots. Going to take 45 horsepower to operate this thing. $8,400. We have quite a bit of, uh, oh, we have quite a bit of configurations for this, surprisingly. Warning signs. We have none. We have front. We have back. And we have both, both with lights, and back to none. Uh, order spreading control, no, mechanically. Um, I'm trying to see what this changes. Mechanically, hydraulically, and then no. Okay, it looks like it, I wanna say it's in here. Uh, it's definitely something in that area. Weight set balls. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, that's down here. You can zoom in, you can kind of see them right there. Uh, wheel set up, standard. Round wheel mounted. That's standard. Main color. We can do that. And design color, we can go for that. So that is the Pottinger HIT 690N slash NZ. Here we have the Ermo packs. Big shocker, it seems like every day we have these, these Ermos. I mean, there's a modder out there that either works for this company, owns this company, or just uses this equipment and just absolutely loves it because it seems like every day we're getting some kind of Ermo equipment. Um, this is going to be 16.49 megabytes. Uh, that's a subsoiler and that's a cultivator. Okay, so the subsoiler, uh, the Levante 7L, $8,405. Three meter work width, of course, because these Ermos seem to be very tiny. Six slots, it's going to take 100 horse to operate this. Let's take a look here. So we have design, we have without bar, and we have with bar. There we go. And this here is the Mistral 300. This is a cultivator, $9,850. Three meter work width, um, eight slots, 150 horsepower to operate this thing here. So design, we have the cage roller. We have angle ring roller, double shell roller, packer roller, cross kill roller, back to cage roller. So we have the main colors, Irma white, Ermo Evolution, design colors, just 
same thing. So that is the Irmo pack. Here we have the Lizard MKV Universal Tank Trailer Package. This is going to be 13.51 megabytes to download and install. It looks like this is going to take diesel, water, milk, uh, def, herbicide, uh, slurry, digestate, uh, her, uh, I said herbicide, fertilizer, and seeds? Is that, is that seeds? That doesn't seem right. And again, I'm not sure why they include death when in the game so far, I, I, there, there's no death in the game. I don't understand why. I mean, there's some mods that you can get death from, but there's really nothing you can do with it. So it's um, it's curious to me. So we have the MKV2 Universal, $55,000. It's going to take up six slots. This is going to range between 17,000 and 25,000 liters. Then we have the MKV3 Universal, which is going to be $90,000, takes up five slots, and this is going to be between 30,000 and 50,000 liters. So these are these are pretty uh, hefty. This is going to be 8.5 ton. It's going to be 6.9 ton. So if you guys are playing with the uh, the, the whole weighted trailer thing on, um, you're going to want to pay attention to that. So wheel brand, we have Lizard. Let's kind of zoom in there. Trailer Borg. And those are, that's it. Okay, wheel set up. Trailer boards are wide and the lizards are standard design. None. Shred plate. Uh, okay. Tread plate is up top. Standard. We have rivets. Tread plate and rivets. We have none. So capacity, we have standard, extension middle, we have 20,000, 21,000 liters extension big, 25,000, and that's standard. I'm trying to see, it doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like it changes, anything like that. So main color, oh wow, we have actually quite a few colors to choose from, design color. Like, oh, that's interesting. And then we have room color. There we go. And then we can put a laser plate on it. And the MK3, I'm going to assume it's the same thing. Lizard and Trailer Borg. Design, none. The tread plates, all that. Capacity. Um, the standard is 30,000 liters. Then it goes up to 40,000. Then it goes up to 50,000. So, that is the Lizard MKV Universal Tank Trailer Pack. Now we have the Lizard MK Silo. This is kind of an interesting one. 7.26 megabytes to download and install. Um, six slots, 30,000 to 50,000 liters, 90,000 dollars. This is basically, um, it's a universal silo trailer and the way they set it is that you can kind of put all your dry goods in here. It's not for um, any liquids, which is interesting because it definitely does look like a tanker, but it's not, and that's uh, that's some color right there. So, Continental, we have Trailer Borg again. Let me try to zoom on that. Okay, so Continental and Trailer Borg again. Continental are standard, Trailer Borg are wide design. We have none, we have tread plate rivets, tread plate and rivets. I'm going to assume that this is from the same modder that gave us the, uh, the last set. Capacity standard, extension middle 40,000, extension big 50,000 liters. Main color, we have, oh, okay. these are all metallic colors. Uh, I actually like that. That's, uh, this is a, ooh, that's, okay, that's interesting. Black metallic. I don't wanna buy it. Uh, rim color. Okay, that's interesting choices. Pretty cool. That is the Lizard MK Silo. Here we have the Duvel, Duvels, Duvelsdorf, <laughs> Duvelsdorf Transport Box HD. If I'm butchering these names, I, I do apologize. 1.17 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take up two slots. It's going to cost uh, $1,999, 290 kilograms. Um, okay, so what? Okay. 
I don't know what this holds, guys. I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't say, um... Is this... That, oh, this is a weight. A weight helps to keep a tractor's wheels on the ground and, and improves its balance. So, I guess it's just a... Ah. I guess this is just a 290 kilogram weight. Okay. So that's the Dualsdorf Transport Box HD. Here we have the Wilson Pace Setter Pack. This is going to be 14.15 megabytes to download and install. So we have the Pace Setter Super B, $80,000. Takes up only two slots, uh, 60,000 liters. And it's going to take all those crops that you see there. And then we have the Pace Setter A Train. This will be uh, two slots, $70,000, 55,000 liters. Uh, this is gonna be 10 tons, this is 12 tons. They both hold the same thing. So this is the Super B. We could change the color, stainless steel, design color. We can do like that. And rim, no, rim color, put chromes on it. So that's the Pace Setter Super B. And then we have the A-Train, which is right here. As you can see, it's, it's just a uh, kind of a daisy-chained tractor here. And again, you could change the main color, the design color, and uh, all that good stuff. So that is the Wilson Pace Setter Pack. Here we have the Crampy KS950. Crampy, Cramp, I don't know. Uh, 10.19 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take up eight slots. 48.5 thousand uh, liters. It's going to hold 80 thousand dollars cost, and it can hold literally everything that's not a liquid. So let's take a look at this. So we have cover. We have it without a cover. Wrapping tarp. Folding top. Wheel brands. We have BKT, which come in. Okay, we actually have different. Wheel subs. Okay, so we have BKT, BKT Rudestein, Michelin's, back to BKT, standard, wide tires, labeling, uh, crampy reflex white, crampy reflex orange, uh, reflex white without the, uh, the crampy decals. Back to that, main color, you can do that, main color, you can do that. So that is the Crampy KS950. Okay, so let's move on to the placeable section of our mod review today. And uh, this is going to be the, uh, the last little bit we have. I think uh, one, two, three, we have like four things to take a look at. So let's open up the build menu here. So the first thing we have are placeable refill tanks. So I'm going to assume these are under containers. I'm going to hope that. Yes, it's right here. So we have the seed fertilizer and lime station. Um, this is going to be five slots. Um, these all cost $5,000. And it looks like the uh, seed fertilizer and lime station. Let's see, it looks like this. There we go. The station of hens, pigs, horses, mineral feed, and silage additive is going to take up eight slots. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging where they're going with this. This is kind of cool. And then we had the liquid fertilizer station for weeds. <laughs> so, uh, is this just herbicide? I'm, I'm guessing. And again, this is going to be 11 slots. Um, by the way, this is going to be 2.7 more, 2.74 megabytes to download and install. Good lord, words. Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, so you you literally have to, I think, fill these up. There's not a trigger where I can buy anything to fill up, so you're gonna have to like manually fill these up. Or possibly not, maybe they're already full. I don't know, let me uh give me one second guys. Okay, so I have field info on and it's not showing me Anything that says these are these are full, so they may just be a, a buy spot. But uh, you know what, guys? You know, on this video, we don't really get into depth 
on any of these mods. So I'm sure you guys can figure out how these work. We're going to move on to the next thing, which is a modern shed. So let's uh, go all the way to the end here. Okay, so we have two sheds. We have the modern shed. This is going to be 2.69 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up four slots. That's a good size shed, man. That's a good size shed. Okay, we're going to place that. And then we have the small shed. This is going to be 6.11 megabytes to download and install. Um, this is going to take up three slots. Both of these cost 25 grand in, in the store. That's Oh, it, it, the pricing is kind of comical because these both cost 25 grand. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, this is the modern shed. No lights. Looks pretty decent. Looks uh, very brand new. Looks like it was just built. Um, wait, are those? No, definitely no lights. Okay, so that's the modern shed. Then over here we have the small shed. Let's open this up. Alright. So it looks good. Nicely detailed. Again, no lights. Still kind of crazy to me that this is uh, 25 grand. This cost as much as this. I mean, this is a lot more building for 25 grand, but it is what it is. Um, it doesn't look like... Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like we can open... Okay, we can only open one door. Interesting. Oh, no, no, we can open both doors. Nice. Alright, so that's a small shed. Now, the only other thing we have is under decorations and I thought it said this was an update but it doesn't say a change log to either one of these so we have the metal shelf 1.13 megabytes and we have the metal shelf $1,500 takes up two slots and then we have the double metal shelf which is going to take up two slots it costs uh, $2,750 so we have wait okay yeah, okay, that's the metal shelf. And then we have the double metal shelf right here. And what you can always do, <laughs> let's uh, do this one here. And if we just press the triangle, we can make it a triple metal shelf if we really want to. Very cool. I do like these shelves, but look at that, guys. Look look how, like, seamless that looks. That literally looks like the mod was built that way. All right, guys, so those are the mods for February 2nd. Uh, be on the lookout because we are going to do our first ever mod spotlight video, okay? So we're going to do a whole video dedicated to that TLX uh 2022 i believe it's called and uh look for that coming out really soon so i hope you guys are all have a fantastic day stay safe out there and we'll see you next time